If you're like me, uh, when a question arises, you usually consult YouTube first. Um, that's the that's the case for me uh, when it came to uh, trying to determine what type of D1 cam lock system I had on my lathe, and there wasn't anything readily available that at least showed it out at me. So it took quite a while for me to find the information, but like like anything. Once you find it, uh, it's easy to find and it seems like it's well known. Nonetheless, I thought I'd make a YouTube video concerning the D1 cam lock system. So for the home shop, uh, chances are that uh, if you're trying to determine which type of cam lock system you have, you're more than likely trying to determine is it a D13 or a D14. And it's quite simple actually to determine the difference the difference uh, in the measurement uh, can be found by measuring the diameter of the stud and the diameter of this hole. For a D13, we can simply measure the stud. It should be around uh, 9 sixteenths of an inch or 562 thou. For the D14, it would be 5 eighths or 625 thou. We can measure also the, uh, the hole in the center. For D13, we're looking at around two and an eighth inches. That hole size would be about two and a half inches were to D14. This printout uh, indicates uh, clearly the difference. Uh, measurement B at 2 and an eighth, 2.5. A D15 is actually 3.25 and a D16, 4.1. You would know if you had a D15 or 6 because they have six pins. It's the D13 and 4 that there could be some confusion given that they're both three pins, but the, the chart here clearly shows 9 sixteenths and 5 eighths for measurement H, and that's here the diameter of the pin. And when we look at measurement B, which is basically to the outside of the taper, which would match your chalk or faceplate, 2.125, which is 2 and an eighth, and 2.5, 2.5. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thank you for watching.